Can you hear me? Uh, yes, ma'am. I can hear you. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Much better. Yeah, so How much are you today? I'm doing fantastic. Can't complain. So much better. I'm glad to hear. Where are you? I'm in countryside. Oh, nice. Yeah. Is it nice? Is the weather nice out there? Uh, yeah, I would like to show you just a minute, please. Here is sunrise time. Where I am right now. Oh, wow. Very green. So you like to spend a lot of time outdoors, huh? In nature. Because <laughs> the thing is that uh, my environment gives me this opportunity because uh, a lot of time here because I'm living in outside area. That's the reason it's so easy for me. Yeah, I really liked your video that you made about learning vocabulary in nature. <laughs> uh, yeah, so these type of things I like to do. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm, I didn't get a chance to introduce myself formally. I'm Jamie, and I'm a speech pathologist that specializes in accent modification. Okay. So... Most of my students are working on English pronunciation and American accents. Got it. How, how, can you tell me more about yourself? Uh, of course, why not? Uh, basically, my name is Kunal and uh, I'm born and raised in India. You can say New Delhi. Okay. Uh, about my free time activities, I like to spend time like walking in nature, reading, and watching a lot of WWE. Wonderful. Yeah. Do you speak any other languages? Other. Yeah, I speak two more languages. Um, what language do you speak? One is I can say Hindi, and one. Okay, so that's your, your uh, native language. And uh, one you can say more one. It is kind of regional, regional one. So Haryanvi. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Impressive. So when did you start and when did you start learning English? Mm, you know what happened with me when I was uh, in 7th standard. So at that time there was a teacher. He was really nice. He always encouraged me to learn language. This language. So at that time like what happened when he was teaching first of all he uh, used to teach in a you can say with the passion and diligence yeah you have uh, a great vocabulary great vocabulary too lots of big words <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much and from that time uh, like when he started like teaching lesson he put all his uh, efforts uh, at that time so from that time uh, at that time there was no internet no smartphone anything like that so i do have like kind of book how you can say guide uh, which mm -hmm. can help me to read by myself to understand vocabs and etc so at that time i am started to learning with my own guide and i become became enamored with this language yeah wow You've mostly done self-study yeah. and teaching yourself. You're very motivated. <laughs> yeah. And the more I do, the more encouragement I got from my teacher always. Like he always uh, pushed me hard. Uh, yeah, amazing, Kunal. That's amazing. I like it. You did this thing always. So he always encouraged you. That's great to have a teacher like that. And mm. you're very, your speech is very clear and intelligible I can understand you very well so what are your your goals in regards to your English advancing your English what are my what would you say your goals are you know I don't have a specific goal because this language I can say uh, gives that type of opportunities which I can say beyond goal yeah reach high <laughs> yeah really high so That's good Mm -hmm. uh, one of my goal is to uh, like to marry a person like out like uh, what can I say overseas like from abroad country yeah 
to learn about this language culture more deeply this thing i would also like to do it yeah and continue continuously learning that's great yeah are you current i was watching some of your your youtube videos too yeah. oh that's so awesome so do you make videos uh, pardon me please do you make a lot of videos or are you trying to build an audience and on your english language journey yes ma'am uh, i do this thing cause uh, you know what do i say just give me a minute cause i just wake up early for you so it's really oh. getting hard for me to like yeah but somehow i am coping with it so yeah i what time is it it's a 6 o'clock but what happened yesterday uh, uh i slept a late time you can say 1 o'clock something i'm sorry you had to get up so early <laughs> i guess you, you could ask me for a later time i'm sorry you had to wake up so early <laughs> no worries cause um uh, uh, i'm waiting for you can say i'm on the edge of my seat for this one meeting Awesome. Yeah. Well, you can with your uh, with your videos, you can inspire other people, and as they follow your journey, like your teacher inspired you. Yeah, it means a lot to me, Miss. Cause you know, uh, I consider myself as like English buddy. Ah, oh, English buddy. Do you have a a conversation club you participate in, or any other friends that are that you practice in conversation with? in english mm. currently exactly so what do you what do you usually do what what is your typical conversational practice look like what is my conversation typical practice look like it depends on person to person i'm talking just suppose uh, i can say according to their profession i can say i can talk uh, with all walks of life just suppose uh, if you are accent trained so obviously i will go deep down inside of english language related to accent just a minute papa thodi thodi der tak niche chale jao ha niche chale jao yes that's okay yeah Oh, uh, so where were I? You were. It was early, so you're trying to think of the word or a word to tell me more about mm-hmm. your videos. I think. Yeah, I believe. Uh, videos. At least uh, I can say one video per day. I like to upload, like one short. Oh, on YouTube. Yeah. One short. Yeah. Yeah, and your question was that. Uh, Uh, what is your typical conversation so according to person all walks of life i can cope up easily mm-hmm. that's wonderful to hear yeah do, do a lot of your friends or um family speak english also uh so you can practice if i lay on the line if i come clear i would say nobody say, speaks nobody speaks this language uh, even you can say uh, not even my professor speak english mm-hmm. oh wow none of them no, or only they wow. can they can speak but they don't want uh-huh. to they don't want to do this thing okay so is their preference what language is their preference to speak in there usually uh, is it yeah they speak mostly like hindi and they just use a little bit uh, you can say mixing like blending words of english language little bit in this yeah way. it's much more effortful to practice in english so mm-hmm. you're very motivated i could tell you yeah. so are are you looking for can you tell me more what maybe would be helpful in your english language journey what you're looking for or maybe if it's a conversation club or more geared towards one to one personalized practice um i know you might want to um, learn more about the english uh, language mm-hmm. i do think so like on this level on this level ma'am cuz it's been around 2 and almost half years i have been like ongoing this thing 
एंड आई डू फील लाइक आई काइंड ऑफ स्टक ऑन लाइक प्ला टू लेवल एंड इट्स रियली गेटिंग हार्ड ब्रेक थ्रू बट आई हैव लाइक लर्न ए वन थिंग फ्रॉम लाइक नेटिव ट्यूटर लाइक नेटिव पर्सन एनी पर्सन सो सो बी इजी बी नेचुरल एज लाइक नेटिव पर्सन दे ऑल्सो लाइक वट एवर दे लर्न समाइम दे आर ऑल्सो नॉट लर्निंग एवरी सिंगल डे न्यू न्यू वर्ड सो अकॉर्डिंग टू सिचुएशन टाइम विल कम दे टीच दैम सो इज इट सेम एज विद मी नाउ Have you ever have you ever done an accent assessment? Accent assessment? Uh, no, ma'am. I have never done accent assessment, but I had spent a great deal of time doing. You can say mimicking, say doing these type of practice. Uh mm-hmm. huh. So one of the one of the offerings I had in. Uh, Already July June was a free accent assessment, and um, because I've just started my practice, mm-hmm. if you want, I could do an, a free. We could schedule a free accent assessment, and that way I can take you through. It's about forty five minutes, and that mm-hmm. way we can go through, and I can give you feedback on specific points of maybe areas you can work on to improve your pronunciation, or if you have specific. goals in mind i can tailor it more towards you know if you're if you're i mean you sound great but every i mean even even native english speakers are always continuously working on their speech and how to improve different areas of their language and um as i am as well so if that's something you're interested in we could do that as a next step why not ma'am i'm on cloud 9 to get uh, this oh. type of opportunity Awesome. That I'm glad that I'm glad that you're interested and and then coming up I'm starting to mm-hmm. try to gather people for a small group conversation club if maybe that's something you want to participate in. Of course ma'am, it goes without saying. I am on my toes. I'm on the up on my toes. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Oh, have you been looking into other English program or pronunciation programs or accent programs or Yes. Ma'am. Or continuing just for self study right now. Um I can do it this thing also like to join your community and uh, to push my limits there. I would uh-huh. love to. I would love to. Awesome. I mm. love how motivated you are. How about as far as any what is what areas or challenges come up when you're practicing English or during your English study? What type of challenges? You can say I have learned a lot like till twelfth class. You can say my English level. You can say intermediate, but in <laughs> but in speaking, you can't even say beginner at that time. Uh, so. after that uh, i did started doing practice you know you i can say my life changing thing is that uh, i did a lot of practice with the native tutors and apart from that uh, um i am having really professional and proficient uh, whatsapp groups like calling groups okay oh awesome and how big are those groups mm in some like uh, like uh, one group two Fifty participant, hundred, but the main oh, wow. thing, yeah. So, so quite large. It's a lot of listening activities then, and and learning, but not so much participation. I would, I would think. Yeah, what we just need to do, you know, uh, the like if you are in a meeting, like a five to six person, sometimes mm-hmm. it's not feasible to like join every time. but at what i have to do i have to just put my number and all people are so friendly courteous and they will call me chop chop that's great to hear yeah do you have any questions for me do i have questions for you i have mm-hmm, um like how long mess you have been teaching this language or teaching english so so i'm a native english speaker but i have 
I've been a speech pathologist for the past five years. And Mm -hmm. are you familiar with the scope of practice of a speech language pathologist, or maybe it Mm -hmm. maybe might refer to a speech speech therapy in a medical setting? May you please go deep down inside of this thing, like uh, a speech pathologist. I little bit know about speech, but in when it comes to pathologist, it's I kind of can say for me uh, a little bit like a medic medical vocab i have heard like first time in this uh, uh, scenario you are using so please tell me yeah absolutely so our field is pretty broad in terms of what we can do as a clinician so i've worked with different populations all the way from birth to geriatric to elderly for um you know patients who have dementia so if i was in a medical setting you do a lot of uh, work with memory swallowing um, someone who has a tra- traumatic brain injury or a stroke and they lost you know there's a loss of words and language so they have to regain those skills it's a rehabilitation mm-hmm. um so those are all medical you know deficits that they need a speech pathologist but then another side of our scope mm-hmm. of practice which i love is is an elective service so that's <clears throat> there's no disability there's nothing wrong they're just learning learning another language and and working on the articulation and the um phonemic awareness of the english language or mm-hmm. maybe they want to work on their accent or dialect so this is classified in accent modification mm-hmm. which is which is so I've been doing a lot of different things within my field, but I've been um, slowly narrowing it down to only work with students who want to work on accent modification or second language acquisition as English language learners. Mm-hmm. So people just students just like you who want to they're very motivated and they have um, a proficient level of English, but they want to improve certain areas of their language, whether it be their pronunciation, their um, working on, um, you know, the American mannerisms or English. Some people choose to do maybe British, Mm -hmm. British English, but there's a general American English. Mm -hmm. Um, Maybe there's a lot of idioms and phrases like we would say that are not translated literally. Um, like just raining cats and dogs. So somebody maybe <laughs> yes, has been more on the idioms. And I mean, you have a, definitely, had a, I could tell, an advanced English proficiency spoken language. How about mm-hmm. uh, writing and reading? Do you, do you also read and write in English as well? Uh, if I do talk about uh, writing, yeah, I try mm-hmm. to write every single day, like feedback, cause... Uh, those like if i do complete my conversation practice so after that um, sometime i put uh, what can i say like feedback like i have to mention all what we had discussed and how was it and in this way was it for feedback like giving real time feedback is that is that what you said or y- yes ma'am Did just I- just pause okay. If I talk with you, I will also share feedback with you. Like how was it? What I have learned? If I learn new word, I will also put there. If we had discussed on a topic, I will put that topic. What we have learned, and from your side, I will also get like acknowledgement. Yeah. So in this way, I would do this thing. Yeah. Exactly. That's exactly what what mm-hmm. it is, and something that you can't get from you know YouTube or online course and. So the majority of my students are paid. However, I'm trialing out a lot of new, um, you know, exercises and activities. So if that's something you're interested in, if you didn't want to do a paid, the paid personalized program, then I could work with you too um, on my, you know, the exercises and the programs that I'm experimenting with for, um, you know, to see if it's effective with, future students as I continuously develop my systems. Mm -hmm. So I have those two options as well. I don't know if that's something you're interested in or if you wanted to do a very clear, direct, individualized training program that's paid or we can do something more Mm -hmm. relaxed that's, you know, experimenting with different um, language exercises and different parts of the English language that I want to 
uh, integrate into my program. Mm-hmm. So you could be the kind of like the experiment for yeah, it. Yes, ma'am. I would love <laughs> so I don't to. Know I would love Which, to. What? I would love to. Are you more, also? Are you more interested in the in the program that I have to offer, or the more of the experimental um, exercises and things that I want to mm-hmm. fine tune integrate with my students? Uh, bo- I'm going with both of things, I can see. Both of those? Okay. Yeah. Well, what we could do to start, since we're running out of time, we could start with the accent assessment and we could schedule it at a time so you don't have to wake up so early. Mm-hmm. If that, wor- that works better for you. Uh, amazing. Do you want to try, do you have availability later this week? Uh, yes, ma'am. I do have availability later this week. Just a minute, so... you know your schedule off the top of your head, or do you want me to send you some options? Um, I can say after, after this, like this time we have joined, you can like one or two hour. By bus over, who? हाँ मेरे पापा दूध लेने जा रहे हैं मेरा भाई सो है अंकल ई ई बाज रहा थोड़ी देर में मैं करूँ मैं कितने मीटिंग पाऊँ अंकल थोड़ी देर में करूँ सॉरी फॉर इनकनवेनियंस इट्स ओके या Ma'am, I do have one more question. Uh, like, what do you think about as you are a native speaker, and uh, you are still polishing your accent, speech, cause uh, there is always work, like always space. So, as much as I am doing progress, I can say I am understanding much more better. Like, uh, I love American accent, but now on this level. British accent, British pronunciation is helping me a lot uh, to understand uh, this language vast. That's okay if that if that's helping you, and you're mm-hmm. listening and and learning. For that is more understandable for you. That's okay. I mean the different dialects. So there's accent and dialects de- depending on the region. So. <clears throat> In Britain, they have the British accent, American accent. Um, here we have the American accent, and then even here in the United States, we have you know there's like an East Coast ac- English accent, and the uh, California. I'm in Logan, California, so some may say you know the Californians may be more like Valley Girl or, that's or something. Why, so that's why I'm saying that. your accent is so melodious. Yeah. You know, I had uh, like multiple session with Californian tutors, so I always try to book my lesson with the <laughs> mostly with Californian, cause uh, I can say it is so easy easy to understand, like easy to grasp without any pressure or anything like that. Definitely. So yeah, you can let me know what is helpful in helping you understand. Mm-hmm. Uh, English better. What areas are easier, like more, or more easier for you to understand? Because as you learn the phonetic inventory, some of the sounds that we have mm-hmm. in English, maybe they in your native language or the other languages that you speak, they're not always consistent. They maybe there wasn't a sound in your specific native language that we use. So it's that process of learning it and and being able to hear the sound so for example for example if i learn um, if i'm working on learning chinese or of mandarin or cantonese it's a very tonal language so i i have a hard time even hearing the tones because it's not something that i have done it as a native english speaker so it's very unfamiliar to me it takes a lot of work to even be able to hear and discriminate the different tonal differences you know absolute ma'am do you also know different languages apart from english no i i i'm working on i i speak a little bit of spanish and i'm actually half chinese so i'm that's why i'm trying to learn um my grandma is cantonese 
Anthony. So it's a very difficult language. So I understand the challenges. I'm trying to learn a little bit, but it's very difficult for me. Did you hear this uh, like uh, voice of uh, like peacock? I did. Yeah. <laughs> What does a, a peacock? Yes. Or a bird? Peacock. Yeah. Bird. Really large bird. Wow. That sound. It was very loud. <laughs> And a national bird also of our India. It's pride over India. Like this bird oh, is wow. pride. Wow. Are they out every day? Yes, ma'am. Cause uh, I'm living near to a orchard, like guava orchard. So it a lot of uh, like they are hatching their eggs there. Uh, a lot of here are these peacock. They are eating yeah. guava and different fruits all the time. Wow, Th- that's one of my favorite things too about working with students is they. that you get to teach me more about other cultures and you know now you can teach me more about the nature in India too i can learn i can learn a lot from you too uh, yes ma'am i'm not sure about that i will be ever or but this thing is in my mind if it will be you can say become reality this is also good and it will not it, i'm also uh, good with my english because i love this language uh, you can say uh you know i am having really great uh kind of quote which i created by myself like uh, my language is my mother like hindi language and english mm-hmm. english i consider as my wife <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we're doing a great job yeah very motivated yeah keep up the good work yeah. well So just to wrap up did you want me to schedule on Thursday this Thursday the 7th at 5:30 or or does that work for you 5:30 a.m. like indian time oh, oh, so um it would be my time i think so 5:30 pacific standard time i'll have to convert it to your time let's see your So it's about 6 a.m. it probably is 6 a.m. your six, time. 6:34 ma'am. So oh, 6:34. Well, have I'll send you the I'll send you a um Google invite again with the Zoom invite and then if it doesn't work, mm-hmm. if you want to push it back because it's too early, mm-hmm. just let me know. You could confirm or tell me, you know, that's too early. Let's look at later times or maybe a different time or day. Yes, Does ma'am. that work for you? Y- yes ma'am. Uh, I uh, yeah you can do this thing i am having this one question also like please tell me i ask this one question when i meet someone first time cause uh, and this is life changing question what is the best uh, advice you have ever got in your life and would you like to share with me ooh that's a loaded question what is the best advice you have received in life yes ma'am is that Yeah. Um, man. Okay. Hmm. That's a that's a difficult question because there's so many things that come to mind. I'm not sure what the best advice is yet, but I will think on that question. Can I can I give you my answer on Thursday? Uh yes, ma'am. Uh Where I can type looking at the top of my head. I would say to in- invest in yourself investing in yourself you invest in yourself okay everything you do to, mm-hmm. like if you're going to spend time you know the things that you do to, how you spend your time invest in yourself how you spend who you spend your time with to select wisely and mm-hmm. be aware of who you're spending your time with how you're spending your time um and and being able to have your own your own goals that are far set so that you that you kind of are always doing things that align with what you want mm mm-hmm. but there's a lot of there's a lot of great life lessons i've learned it's hard to really narrow it down to one <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. But that's what I'm working. I would say that's what I'm working on now is always just using my time wisely and spending my time with people that matter. It truly it speaks volume in itself. 
How about you? What's what about you? Same question. Uh, same question is that um, one more thing. I would like to add person name also who has given me the best advice ever. I can say his uh, name is uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and as you already <laughs> know, he is a former Californian uh, governor as well. I know who that is. Yep, he's our he was our former governor. And lots, have you seen lots of his movies? Oh, uh, I have seen uh, lots in his not lots his movies. I have watched like one movie, which one I can say Terminator. Uh, and, Terminator. Yeah, and apart from that, uh, I watch a lot of interview of him, and uh, I can say this person is uh, beyond limits. He set the benchmark. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's good. Someone set the bar high, huh? You know what he told me? Like his speech was uh, like I can say so empowering. He told like uh, when he was in school, he watched first time like TV, and um, on that TV he saw first time American skyscrapers, uh, uh, amazing cars, wider roads. So he make up his mind around six to seven year old. Uh, I will go to America. I will live my life in America, and um, like uh, his, uh, you can say, family think like that. He will work as like a fact in a factory or in a farm, like agriculture. But uh, he told, it is not my vision. It's my family vision, and uh, I'm going to do this thing. And uh, I will live in America. I will be in America. And whatever naysayers are saying, I will give them a shot. I, that's that's a good, um, very good description of of what he stands for. And I would say. Uh, and one more thing, ma'am, as you are uh, specifically uh, accent pathologist, because uh, uh, he has worked uh, a lot on his accent. But but mm-hmm. still, how as we can see, he has his uh, own little bit, uh, like tone of his own accent, his re- region, o- like which country he belongs to. So I can say this person always motivate me to like polish your language. But it is also good uh, if you are having little bit tone of your own accent. It is also good. It shows you uh, like uh, how uh, longer the path path you have walked on already. And you are still ongoing on, and he gives speech. You can say, uh, like millions of people has listened his speech. Inter he speech break the internet as well. I agree, and and that's a a good, very good mindset to have because I guess I didn't cl- I guess I didn't touch on this either, and that's a whole another you know part of my training is that it's not to lose your accent because that's what his Arnold Schwarzenegger's accent <clears throat> while he speaks in- when he speaks English he still has his accent but that's what makes him him and that's what is very unique to him and why <clears throat> a lot of people are drawn to him that his accent is very unique and people people really like it so it's not to lose your accent but in certain situations <clears throat> to remove that perception of you know these biases that come with certain you know region ab- absolutely ma'am when i started my journey you know as i can say the area which i belong from india it is considered one of the you can say direct and really uh-huh. ha- harsh accent like harsh accent hindi you can say little, little bit can be shocked but the area i belong uh, it can be that much hard or you can say stress uh, like language here we do speak if i am do talking with my friend and uh, if you can understand hindi so you will think like that uh, he is uh, fi- doing fighting he is doing fighting mm-hmm. so yeah and that's normal that's that's definitely normal and mm-hmm. and the same thing happens in english and other languages when i'm in different registers we call it when you're talking with your friends versus maybe your boss Mm-hmm. you kind of change your language and your mannerisms and how you how you convey something based on who you're speaking to yeah. or who you're speaking for so. absolutely well, it was it's 
it was a pleasure to chat with you and it was so nice meeting you on Zoom. And what I will do is I'll go ahead and follow up with a Google invite for the assessment we can do and then we'll take it from there. Mm -hmm. If the time doesn't Mom, work for you. How many people will be there? Just oh just you and my just you and me. So it'll just be I'll take you through the different parts of the assessment. So I'll have you read different passages, I'll ask you questions in conversation mm -hmm. and I'll I'll get your permission to record it so then I can pinpoint certain areas where I think that we can work on to make improvements in um, your English pronunciation and some of them maybe rhythm or timing, intonation, if things are more specific that you want to work on like expanding vocabulary. I know that's a, something that you really enjoy working on. Those are always um, areas that I can incorporate too. So. It will take approximately 45 minutes okay. and 40, 45 minutes. And um, if the time doesn't work for you that I send you, just email me back and, and we can make sure that either you'll confirm or we'll find a better time for you. Of course, Does that work? Of course, awesome. it will. Indeed. Indeed. Well, it's so nice meeting you and I hope you have a great rest of your day. You have an early start now. Yes, ma'am. You know, <laughs> one more thing. Like I used to get a, like in first time starting my initial time, uh, I used to get a, like this thing a lot. Uh, like you can say criticism on my accent. Yeah, I used to get a lot. Like uh, they were saying you will never able be to speak good English like Polish. So don't do this thing. You belong to this region. Don't listen to them. The ones that criticize. <laughs> <laughs> You could and you already prove them wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I I started my YouTube channel as a like challenge to myself. Uh, like, uh, can I give answer to those naysayers uh -huh. with my channels channel? I think that that was very brave of you, <laughs> because it's hard it's hard putting yourself out there. Even videos I make, it's hard to put yourself out there. So I think that's very brave that you're able to do that in something that's. Um, not easy too. You're, you're <laughs> After easy. meeting you, might be you have like heard this one song, like uh, what do we say? Uh, Sia song, I am unstoppable today. I am yeah. unstoppable today. I am getting that one feeling after talking to you. Yeah, a lot of, half of it is in your head mindset that you can do it and, and you can. Mm -hmm. So. I hope you have a wonderful day and I look forward to uh, seeing you on Thursday then. So oh. just confirm that it works. I'll send it to your email. Does that work? Uh, of course, ma'am. And you can always feel free to message. Ma'am, uh, you know, my email is not working that much good. Like, because uh, uh, I'm having really multiple, like, things in there. So uh -huh. my phone is uh, get hanged. So I use WhatsApp. Can you send me on WhatsApp? It can be more convenient. Uh, let's see what can I send you I'm I haven't set up my whatsapp but I I, um, I have that on my list to set up mm -hmm. so in the meantime while I get that set up can I send it to you on uh, Instagram I'll send you a message on there to confirm is that easier for you Instagram also be better okay I'll, I'll figure out a way and then I'll set up my I'll work on getting my whatsapp set up too. Cool. I haven't done that yet. Uh, like so. this thing, Gmail is uh, like for me, it's like a little bit hard. Like <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. A learning curve. It's a learning curve, but um, so for now I'll, I'll send it to you on both platforms so, yeah. so that way you can have it if you don't get it in your email then. Awesome. Well, uh, I'm feeling so uh, rapturous, amazing on top of the oh. world. Wonderful. That makes me happy to hear. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for waking up early to meet with me and I will see you. Ma'am, uh, and one more thing, if it is possible, because uh, my ultimate is goal is that if I, I can't hide from you to you like this thing, I would like to be an English professor. So if it is possible, I would love to help you always. Uh, and along it, with it, it will improve me simultaneously, me as well, to work uh, like uh, like for longer time. I can help you with the, you can say, your like students or anything, if I can. Uh, yeah, okay. I would love to always, without anything, 
my you can say it can be for my fun i would love to do all right well that that sounds good to me i i bet we could definitely find some some way to integrate that and that would be very helpful for me too so uh yeah i'm happy you know like as you are saying you have started like club so i would love to put my all energy there like people like to improve them and me as well cause there is a i'm always will learn from them that's the reason exactly you can learn learn from others too and they can learn from you and in the conversation club everyone's very keeps everyone very motivated and there's a lot of mutual and shared feelings that you know amongst the second language learners that mm-hmm. even if they're they have a mm-hmm. different native language a lot of the same you know how you experience criticism so then others have probably experienced that too and ways to kind of navigate around that and to help each other and practice in a, a real conversational level because that's that's when it's the most useful so yes ma'am do you know time? what we no. yes ma'am you know one word lastly for wrapping up this session m m a do you know m m m a we are in m m a right now sorry can you tell me that one more time we we are like you know you can say we are connected in m m a v m m e a a for uh, apple oh, i haven't heard that before it means that uh, master mind alliance oh i like that i like that <laughs> where did you where did you hear that uh, i have learned from book and one of my friend also told me like it is kind of like a really great book i will share the name of that one book with you so awesome. when two person working towards a like same goal so it can be achieved in a less time and efficaciously and you can get your results uh, you can mm-hmm. say in really all out amount of unfathom like uh, which word like uh, i'm a little bit confused like unfathomable fathomable result you can get which one is correct here unfathomable is it un- unfathomable yeah Or yeah and yeah this one you can get unfathomable result if uh, somebody is with you in mma Ah, that's very that's very true. I agree. Well, I like that. I might have to use that in something. M M A Mastermind Alliance. That's very cool. Yes. You already taught me something today. Uh, well, thank you, Kanal. I'm sorry. I have one more meeting, but I will follow up with. Um, you know, our, your our offbeat attitude, offbeat attitude, and lovely smile is. Uh, cherry on the cake so i don't think so every student will be encouraged like that person is like as like my english buddy not english tutor or anything like that exactly well thank you <laughs> my english thursday okay yes ma'am so I'll be in touch in a, in a little bit, okay? Yes, ma'am. Before. Okay. Thanks, come on. Thanks, can all. Um, I'll talk to you soon. Yes, ma'am. And thanks a lot for this time, Sandy.